three counties make up Colorado's 16th judicial district. Otero is the largest, and La Junta is its biggest city. You'd think if there was a spike in crime that led to the 37% increase in new felony cases filed here, that folks would have noticed. Oh yeah, I was shocked to get the phone call. <laughs> That's because the crime rate in the city doesn't match this growth in caseload. In fact, crime stats here are flat over the last few years. Not in the city of La Junta. Now, I know in 2016, Andy, we did have one murder, but last year we didn't. Uh, we actually saw uh, a decrease in like robberies and stuff. One possible explanation is that more cases are coming from neighboring prisons. Prosecutors here charged dozens of inmates, all busted as part of a major drug smuggling ring. And court data obtained by News 5 Investigates shows that four of the districts with the highest growth in felony cases have at least one private or state-owned prison in their boundaries, but another three districts with high felony growth have no prisons. So another possible explanation is drug abuse. State data on heroin use in our counties tracks closely the increase in felonies, but it's not a perfect match. Now, is there a drug problem in America? Yes, there is. And it's, you know, Colorado's not exempt from it. Whatever is causing all the new cases, it's putting pressure on the judicial system, especially for prosecutors in rural communities where money is scarce. The prisons pay for the cases charged against their inmates, but the majority of DA funding still comes from the counties. How do we, in an area that is not growing like the metro areas, how do we be able to utilize the funds better that we do have? And unlike front range cities, property values here in Otero County are flat. And recent census numbers suggest the population is actually shrinking, not growing. And so what you're doing is you're basically living just like a uh, retiree on a fixed income. The county plans to buy the building that houses its DA's office. They figure the money they save in rent each month can go to prosecutor salaries instead, but that money will only go so far. It's a challenge right now for everybody involved, and, and um, we can't do everything. And state lawmakers have introduced a number of bills this session to help address the heroin epidemic in our state. There are also some bills designed to help with crowding in county jails and state prisons, but at this moment, there's no legislation on the table to help with funding for prosecutors.